business plan for your book. Now, there's about seven questions that every author must answer before self-publishing. Now, the key concept here is clarity. Closing more of uh, your sales depends on how conveying a clear message, a mission, um, and a method of helping your clients. And writing a book is one of the best ways of making your fuzzy ideas very clear, like crystal clear, first for you and then for your readers. So let me show you exactly how to get that done. Now, all seven questions that we're gonna cover in this video are available in a one-page checklist, and I'll tell you how you can get your own copy of that at the end of this. Now, before we get started, my name is Fortune. I'm a self-publishing strategist uh, for established coaches and consultants who want to write a book and use it to grow their business. Now, I've created the proprietary method of getting your book out of your head uh, and onto paper in less than four hours using a phone and a few websites. Now, the process we're talking about here today comes straight out of the signature book uh, formula. So this is the writing process. And there's about seven questions that you need to answer. Now, this comes from the idea of traditional publishing, where if you're going to go to a traditional publisher, you would need to present them with a book proposal, usually through some type of agent or something like that, to get this book proposal to one of the big, the big six uh, publishing companies. Now, in that proposal, you're going to have to add, answer questions like, who are you? Um, what's your what's your topic for the book? Who who are you writing this book for? Like, what's the market? Um, what's the potential sales you're going to get in the market? How do you plan on getting this book to uh, your book to this market? Um, what are your projected sales for that? Not only that, but you also have to give them a piece of the content, so show them some of your writing and what your other ideas for the book are, like basic outline. Um, then you also got to prove to them that your book needs to be written right now. Why you should publish it right now? This book proposal could end up being somewhere 10, 20, 30, 40 pages long. There are professional people, professional writers out there who will do this for you for a fee. That's how important this piece of information is. Now, you could do all that work, turn in tens, this, dozens of pages or whatnot, and still get told no by these book, propos uh, book publishers because they don't believe in your book or they don't believe in you or they don't believe in the sales. You don't have to worry about that as a self-publishing. If you have the idea, you have a market, you have someone that you know this book is going to serve, you can go self-publish the book yourself. Now, that doesn't mean that the idea of a book proposal is not important. So how can we use that to not only help you get more clear about what you're going to do with the book and how you're going to serve your audience, but so that your people, your audience who read your book also is more clear about who you are, what your mission is, and how you're going to help them. The way you're going to do that is answer these seven questions. Now, the seven questions are very simple. They follow the basic questions uh, of, of any type of traditional writing, as um, far as like being a newscaster, things of that nature, right? So you have who, what, why, how, where, and which leads to. Now, all you traditional, you really like really... <laughs> news writers and so forth understand there's some other things that go along with that this is what we're talking about basic gist back to it all right so when we're when we're creating these uh when we're answering these questions you're trying to, we're to know who you are writing for right off the rip who you're writing for you need to know what do they need to know what do they need to know why do they need to know it and then how are you going to help them do what they need to do okay those are the first four questions very, uh, very, very easy to get done, okay? Um, give me the first five questions. First four questions, excuse me. Uh, then we have the idea of when are you going to have this book published? You need to know that answer. It's really going to be self-published. Many people talk about self-publishing. They don't have a committed to it. You need to have a deadline for yourself or what I like to call a finish line. So you're crossing that finish line. Um, the sixth question is, where do they go next? So once they finish your book, where are they going to? Where is the next step that you're going to have them go to? And after that, which is the final se step, uh, question, which leads to what transformation? Okay, What transformation is your reader going to get after reading your book or going through your customer journey, where it be your book to this, to that, to the other, to your leading to your coaching, what transformation are you going to get? Once you have those seven questions uh, answered, then you have a business plan for your book. You know exactly how you're going to market from it. You know how you're going to make some sales. You know what it's going to do. 
you have to answer those questions. Now, these are the high level uh, questions that you had that I just went over here. There are more details to go with each of those questions um, to be, be really super clear and really get clear on what your, what your business plan is. But still, if you can answer those seven questions, you have a business plan for your book. Now, when you go into writing your book, you can get more clear about your mission, your message, and your method of helping your clients. Many people that I speak with, I ask them about writing their book and uh, what is their what is their plan for the book or what and what are they going to offer their clients, uh, the readers, excuse me, that they've been offering their clients and they can't explain it. Those seven questions will help you do that. Not only that, writing the book will help you get even more clear about what it is that you're offering, who you are, and what your mission is. I have a question that I ask on the Wealthy Author Podcast. I ask my guests, what have you learned from the writing process outside of, you know, how to write better? One of the most common answers I get is clarity. They're more clear about who they are, what they represent, and what they offer their clients because they've written the book and had to get that clarity because they, don't, they can't get asked the follow-up questions. The person who reads their book is not sitting in front of them like, hey, what do you mean here? What is this, what is this stamp? They have to be so clear when they wrote the book that those questions were already answered. That's what happens when you finish writing your book. So, that being said, as you go into this whole process of writing your book, there's some things that you will learn from doing it. So, you're going to get very, very, very clear about that. Now, if you want those six WH questions, was what I call them. I call those questions the six WH questions. You can get a, a copy of that checklist very simply type the word plan down in the comments and I will send you a copy of the six WH questions to get you started by getting clear about your business plan for your book. Now, if you want help with the writing, of course, you want to follow up with me. Um, one of my team members will get back with you, but set up a call so we can actually help you get the book written for you. But first, right now, type plan down in the comments. I get you a copy of the six WH checklist and you get started right today. Now, that being said, as always, you are only one book away from your next breakthrough in your business or in your life. So go out there and make life happen every day. God bless. I'll talk to you next time.